Welcome to this video. We are looking at particles in particular. It's in this area here, which is always to do with matter. But as you can see, particles is the key idea and particles colliding in particular. So uh, we're going to look at the history a little bit, how people's ideas uh, changed about particles and this experiment in particular, alpha scattering experiment. We have to think about the size of particles, principally how small they are. Then the key words here are atom and molecules and the difference between those. Basically, molecules are made of atoms and they're both types of particles. Then we look at substances. So substances have a density, but objects, as well as having density, also have these things, state, mass and volume. And uh, mass and volume together contribute to the idea of density. Right, let's have a little bit of a think about the history of people's uh, thoughts about particles. Now, we start at the beginning of the uh, 20th century. Uh, Thomson had this model here, he called it the plum pudding model. He just worked out that electrons existed, and he just assumed that they were evenly scattered throughout the atom, and that the atom was overall positive. Now, because of the alpha scattering experiment, uh, Rutherford, Ernst Rutherford, worked out that actually the mass was concentrated in the centre and the electrons were around the outside. Further, a little bit later, in the 1930s, Niels Bohr worked out that the electrons were actually in shells. So let's look at this key experiment then, alpha scattering. What they did was they fired positive alpha particles, all alpha particles are positive, at gold leaf. Now gold leaf, it was used because you can make it very thin. And what they discovered was that the majority flew through, which they kind of expected, but about one in 6,000 uh, bounced back. And you can see that here, bouncing back, there it goes. And the only way of explaining that was this idea of a nucleus. They didn't have this concept before, but they said the only way of explaining it is it must be concentrated, uh, and all that repulsive force has to act on one alpha at a now the size of atoms are incredibly small. We haven't got a screen or a piece of paper big enough, so we need an analogy. And the analogy is a stadium here. And if the nucleus was the size of a P, the electrons would be much smaller and very far away, about the outside of the trap. Now we have to be clear about the terms here. They do get a little bit confused. So particle means any small piece of matter. We even talk about dust particles even though they contain trillions and trillions of atoms. So an atom is the smallest chemical unit of matter. We do have structure below that, but um, it ceases to be chemical. So in this part of the Venn diagram, we've got elements. So here, substances are made of only one type of atom. They can either be single atoms, so argon doesn't join to anything else, not even itself. Here we have a molecule, so a molecule is atoms joined, but it's also an element. So Nitrogen uh, is N2, so one atom of nitrogen likes to join to another one. Over here, our example here is uh, carbon monoxide, so two atoms join, so it's still a molecule, but it's a compound molecule because they're different. Now the board wants you to have some idea of the size of, of an atom, and it's roughly 1 times 10 to the minus 10. It's very difficult to visualise, just astonishingly small. Now here we get on to the idea of density. Now density is mass per volume. So a material can have low density, so balsa wood here, but a balsa wood object can be quite heavy, so this tree trunk is pretty heavy. Equally, or oppositely, a high density material like lead can be part of a light object, so a small piece of lead, cubic centimetre of lead, isn't a very heavy object. So here we move on to state and density. If we start down here at minus 273, nothing moves and it has maximum density. As we heat things up, they move more and they occupy more volume. We can see that with our um, blue triangles here, uh, rectangles, I should say. Uh, and finally, the gas state is very, very much uh, bigger, or occupies a, a, a much, much larger volume and therefore has a much lower density. So here we have a, a calculation example of calculating density. Remember, identify, adjust for prefix, formula, arrange, substitute, total, and put the unit in. So in this case, we have to adjust to make it kilograms, not tons. We have to rearrange our formula 
and we get our two densities. That concludes our video.